Executive Mosaic is honored to announce Andy Green, an executive vice president of HII and president of the company's Mission Technologies Division, as a recipient of the 2023 WASH 100 Award. Cast a vote for Andy Green as your favorite awardee in this year's class of highly esteemed GovCon figures at WASH100.com. In an exclusive video interview with Executive Mosaic, Department of the Air Force CIO Lauren Mossenberger shared her top technology focus areas. Visit executivemosaic.com to watch. The government contracting ecosystem has seen major supply chain disruptions over the past few years. Join GovCon Wire's 2023 Information Security and Innovation Forum on February 28th to find out how CISA is protecting our nation's most critical infrastructure from new threats. GovCon Wire spoke with six-time WASH 100 award winner Tony Frazier, Executive Vice President and General Manager of Public Sector Earth Intelligence at Maxar Technologies, to understand the significance of recent geo and advancements, find out what the future holds for space intelligence and see what's next for Maxar as the company expands into non-Earth imaging services in 2023. Jill McFarlane, a three-decade finance industry executive, has been appointed chief financial officer at Red Horse Corporation. John Auerbach, former director of intergovernmental and strategic affairs at the CDC, has joined ICF as a senior vice president of the company's federal health business. Kevin Perry, a nearly 16-year veteran of Raytheon, has assumed the CEO role at a joint venture between Raytheon and Israel-based Raphael Advanced Defense Systems. Quantum Computing Incorporated has created a subsidiary that aims to bring the company's technology products to the Department of Defense and other government agencies. Join GovConWire's Events 2023 Information Security and Innovation Forum on February 28, 2023. Visit govconwire.com slash events. Valiant Integrated Services has secured a five-year, $67 million contract to help U.S. European Command facilitate joint service training events and assess military exercises. Michael Barnes, a sales professional in the public sector technology market, has joined robotic process automation software company UiPath as vice president of federal civilian business. 